Yo, what's going on guys? It is a boy soldier here back again with a brand new business video This is gonna be a really good video for anyone that wants pointers going into uh, online advertising such as Facebook um, maybe you have a Shopify drop shipping, Shopify business, any e-commerce business. It could be like a brick and mortar tangible business. Any business that you want to run ads and generate people, you know, coming through, either getting leads, conversions, anything, you know, anything you'd want to advertise for. So me and a couple partners, you know, we thought it would be a good idea if I came out with a video, you know, I'm 19 years old and I've spent close to a quarter million, but I don't got the, I don't got enough access to enough Facebooks to really know, but we have spent over $200,000 on Facebook ads. And this is like in the last year, you know, 2020, uh, maybe, maybe like a little bit longer, but yes. Yeah, so really like the last year, uh, last year and a quarter that's it you know that's all i've been running facebook ads for and i've been able to kind of scale up quickly and you know it, it's hard you know you learn a lot really quick you're kind of just throwing yourself out there and uh hoping for the best and I, along the way you know every day you're solving problems things are happening uh you learn so much about how facebook ads work to where you can just dial it to where every day it's the same outcome, literally. And you know, that's what a lot of people want for their business. So I'm gonna go over exactly what I know, you know, my whole crash course, my failures. I mean, I spent $10,000 on Facebook ads uh, on profitably. And that was at the beginning, you know, every paycheck I got, I knew what I wanted in life. So I just spent it on ads and um, you know, it, it wasn't profitable, but I saw that purchases were coming in. so I. That was enough for me to say, all right, so what can I shave down? What could I do better to make this break even? And then I made it break even after a while and then profitable. And now as time goes on, I'm actually learning the ways at uh, ways to make it more and more profitable. Uh, you know, if you guys ever want to do that for your business, please, I do consulting calls. I do charge a price, but you can text me. My number is down below. And other than that, let's get right into it. Okay, so starting Facebook ads, it's crazy and like, you do not know what to do. I got my personal ad manager banned. And trust me, you're not a bad person. Facebook literally, it's a bot. It's a bot that will just, if one little letter is wrong, you know, it'll ruin everything. The one thing I would say is never run ads on your personal ads manager. You always want to create sub business managers because if those accounts get banned, you will have a backup. You always want backups and insurance policies for your business. Uh, you know, with my e-commerce brand, I have backup merchant gateways, you know, payment processors. I have backup, not supplier. I kind of stick with the same one because honestly, I drop ship and I feel like I have one of the best drop shipping suppliers there is. Um, private label, five day shipping from China, everything like that. You know, I got nothing to worry about, but that's also because on the supplier side, I had to crash course with those guys and yeah, everything, you know, everything in business is a crash course. You're learning for yourself. Uh, you kind of just got to throw yourself out there and learn for yourself. So, um, yeah, that's the one thing. Never run off the personal ad manager. If you are trying to create website purchases for your business, run conversion campaigns. If you're trying to run leads or get leads for your real estate or whatever, run lead campaigns. I tried this for so long and I heard, I hear, I see it all the time on YouTube. People telling you to do the opposite crap. Literally like people will tell you, Oh, run a reach campaign. If it's a unbeatable offer, that way it shows to more people and blah, blah, blah. Well, that's not going to work. The thing is what you got to realize is Facebook is actually on your side. They want to work with you and for you. Facebook is learning at all times. So when you're running a campaign, uh, if you're going for conversions, uh, it'll it'll actually optimize for conversions. At the end of the day, if you're going for re, it'll optimize the show to the most people per dollar. You don't want that. You want the conversion optimization so you're getting hot traffic for your business and people who are likely to buy. You don't want to just show to the whole world because it's pointless. Another thing I learned is Facebook has a lot of back doors to where each where a lot of people competitors can actually get you disabled so quick 
Um, there's so many ways. Uh, I just fully recommend watching this video. That's like one tip I have for you. It's like the five things I do to make sure my ad accounts never get disabled. That's the tr that's literally the toughest part. That's you know I, that's the toughest part is your ad account getting disabled. It's so discouraging. You were just getting right there. You're right about to get profitable, and then boom, everything's gone, and you're at a loss. Happens all the time. Happens to every advertiser I know. So please, guys, don't uh, don't be discouraged by something like that. Always, if you know what you want, you know, always go for it. There's nothing stopping you. Uh, it, all that it is is a stupid system that you kind of have to learn how it's gonna work. Another thing I learned is that you really don't don't want to spend too much money on one ad account. This goes along with my first successful ad account. I spent about forty grand on it, and it got wild. It started like locking everything. It was asking me for at the time I didn't I didn't have a business license or anything. Again, I was throwing myself just doing it, making it happen real fast. Now I do, but. It was asking for my legal business license, tax information, this and that. And I, you know, it doesn't need that. It really does not need that. Uh, it's charging your debit card or credit card. And that's all that when it comes to taxes at the end of the year, all you need is your bank statement. So, you know, it's a little bit more advanced. It's for people who are a little more profitable. I thought I'd throw this as a good tip in there. You know, just don't always try to be diverse when it comes to ad spend and never just put all your ad spend in one ad account. Even if you're running the same exact ads on a different ad account, that's awesome. It's when you just go so ham at one ad account. It's, it, I don't know. It, it's happened to me. Some people are able to just go without it happening. It's one of those random Facebook things. There's always going to be random Facebook things that you're facing. So, you know, I'm trying to instruct, you know, not to get mixed up in all that. Another thing that I've learned is you can have the perfect website. You can have the perfect product page. You could have the perfect offer, but it's all in the advertising. Okay. As long as you know, it's a winning and selling product online or anywhere. It can be sold with Facebook ads. It's just figuring out how to do that and how to target the right audience um, and targeting that audience while maintaining a low cost per purchase, cost per click, whatever it is that you need. So it's kind of like a balancing act with that. I'd say it's really all in the advertising. If you guys have a product that you believe in and that you see is generating sales within other businesses, then it can be sold and there's nothing stopping you from that other than maybe like a, a too high cost to click and you can easily lower that with a lot of um i mean i talk i have this video right here where i talk about pixel optimization how to get the lowest cost per clicks you know enhancing margins and increasing results you know facebook ads it's like what i do now i'm not i've i'm obsessed with this stuff like i literally spend my whole day on drop shipping and ad managers and really most of my days in ad managers because when it comes to such a high um, amount of sales like let's say black friday cyber uh, cyber monday for example my whole plan on my youtube channel was to actually like stream and to create so much videos and then i found myself okay at this scale my business is very serious and a lot of money is on the line at every second so what i had to do is i kind of just reframed from everything for Black Friday, Cyber Monday. Um, you know, I'm back now, definitely had to lower that scale. I couldn't take it, I couldn't handle it. I had a lot of issues with my supplier not being able to handle it, which was a first, that was a first. And um, yeah, so we're currently backpedaling a little bit and uh, you know, business always comes first people. So don't, don't let anything sidetrack you. Yes, I love you guys so much. Thank you for subscribing, watching the video. Also, make sure to like and drop a comment below. But, you know, business is business. I'm a businessman. You know, I'm not afraid to show you how much I make off this video. And I'm not afraid to show you everything, all the numbers, you know, what they mean and how they work. So you guys can do the same. I don't care. I'm, I'm fully like one of the most unleashed people you can ever talk to about any of this stuff. So, um, yeah, so that's another thing. Lastly, one huge thing I want to tell you guys. This is the biggest thing I ever learned. Like this is this is life saving. This has made so much bad things go right. Now the last thing I learned working with Facebook ads. Okay, this is going to sound a bit hypocritical to you or me or whatever, but I don't want you to think of it like that. I want you to think of it in a very open-minded, broad turn. I mean, I'm just going to be real with you guys. 
the only way you're really going to learn and really dial it in for yourself like I did. You know, I was sitting on YouTube every day watching these videos of people spending this, doing that. And, you know, it did teach. It, it, it was videos like this that taught me. But then there's just so much bullshit. There's so much bullshit on YouTube. I can't, I can't even, like, I'm a, okay, because I really do this stuff. So it's, it's literally my job. I, I don't go to call. I dropped out of college. Like I'm completely, I, I was doing really good in school. I was in really good classes and I actually dropped out for this stuff. So it's like, um, this is my job. A lot of things depend on it now. And, um, yeah, I take this very, I take, uh, my Facebook, my advertising, my website brand. I take it all very seriously. Yes. You're going to have all these pointers that I'm giving you right now, but until you start spending money and start creating conversions or whatever it is, you're not going to learn for yourself what you need to learn for yourself. And what I mean by that is, okay, let's say I mean, everyone has their own products. Everyone has their own business that they're advertising for. Just because one thing works for one won't mean it really works for the other. But the tips I'm giving you are just very like broad, like things that you should know, like as an advertiser, uh, not, you know, advertising a specific product, how to target it, why you should choose, click this and not this because that will happen and this will, won't. And, you know, every, every, every business has its own specific strategies to target, um, I will tell you this right now, there is not one single million dollar strategy in Facebook ads. There are so many strategies, there are so many successful strategies, and um, you can easily find your own. So don't think that just because some guy on YouTube is moving a million a month, spending five million a month on ads, that you know they're gonna give you all the secrets. What you should really be listening for is when you're watching YouTube videos is for like advice kind of like this, I'd say, more broad and as an advertiser in general, things you should always think about. I don't want this to apply to one any kind of business. I would love for this to apply to every business. So I'm making this the biggest, you know, broadest things I've learned from being an advertiser on Facebook for one year. I'm 19 years old and I've spent over 200,000. I don't, I don't have all the, I'd like to say I've spent over a quarter million on Facebook ads. And, um, this is, you know, probably the biggest takeaways I've ever had is it's all, you know, it, it's all you, you know, Facebook ads manager literally changed my life. So, you know, spending over, you know, close to over a quarter million dollars at 19 years old, you learn a lot and you learn it real quick. So I'm just going to be, you know, I'm straight up. I'm honest with you guys. Um, these are the biggest takeaways I've had as an advertiser in general, the things you should always think about, um, and really, you know, always that way you can create a consistent uh, flow all day, every day. You know, I, I wake up to the orders. It's not like I have to get up and work. It's it's always going and, you know, you learn a lot. So if you guys want that too, you know, just always be looking for the biggest takeaways, the broadest takeaways, because one person is not going to have the strategy for your business, your product. I mean, there's a lot of amazing strategies to get into when you're running different types of products, which I mean, hey, you can have a CBO and run a 10 single broad interest ad sets. And there you go. You can figure out three ad sets that work. Next thing you do is you kill them. And I mean, there's that's my strategy. That That's always been my strategy. It's worked for a lot of products. But um, yeah, so I hope you guys really uh, found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I will be answering anything. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. That's been it for me. Peace out.